Hey, brothers and sisters, I just had the most astounding message and um, I'm still getting used to things um, and I didn't record it right. It was so powerful. So I'm going to try. Whoa. I thank God it's recorded in heaven. Um, and I thank God that there's power, you know, of life in the tongue. And um, so, so I'm out here and I'm walking. Hallelujah. And, you know, continuing this message with the world without end. Hallelujah. God has given me um, this, 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 this word as I was pondering before the Lord on this walk. Um, he's having me get in shape. He's having me um, <laughs> continuing to run the race that's set before me. Hallelujah. Um, some things require an enormous amount of strength to be able to do what God's called you to do. Um, and so with that in mind, um, this is what he put on my heart moments ago as I was walking. Um, he reminded me that... Um, that people are going through really tough things, but that it's time to rise up in God. And this is the example. You know, when I became a Christian, I can't tell you how many voices that were out there that were telling me to shut up and sit down in every, every venue, you know, in the government, um, in, uh, you know, I was a volunteer for the school system as a PTA president. You know, I was a born again Christian. Um, God gave me a mandate. And um, actually, it was really awesome because we came into that school. He took us out of the, the nice little uh, Christian school we were in. Um, my children were in. And he said, the light shines greater in the darkness. And if there's ever a time of darkness, hallelujah, you know, we're in it. Praise God. So, okay. So, um, anyway, what he showed me through those seasons where uh, the enemy tried to hush me up and shut me up, I rose up in God. You know, the Word of God rose up in me. And you know what? Brothers and sisters, what I have found, and which is really important and really in key, that when you rise up in God and it's an hour to rise up, it's, it's an hour to be fierce like a lion, um, when you rise up in God, then everything else has to, um, has to bow down. The enemy has to bow down. The darkness has to bow down. Now, we don't do it in foolish ways. We don't do it through judgment. We don't do it through self-righteousness. Uh, we do it through God. We do it through Him. The Bible says to be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. Okay, so when we are moving, whoa, in the power of His might, hallelujah, and it's Him, praise be to God, then everything else has to bow. It's a good time to um, surrender. It's a good time to submit. It's a good time for hearts to bow down, you know, um, <laughs> and to behold your God, to rise up and behold your God. And that's what he showed me, that I was to rise up and behold him. And he makes everything possible. It was incredible to see what he did. I mean, uh, it, it's phenomenal because he defeats our enemies before us when we are in him. You know, we had the power to overcome and to prevent veil. He makes us strong through a variety of certain circumstances. Hallelujah. Because he's given us the power to overcome and he's given us the power to prevail. And, um, you know, you have to know that you have to know that you have to be able to be you in Christ. You have to be able to have your identity in him intact and you have to continue on fighting the good fight of faith. Um, gosh, I really wish Honestly, I really wish that that last message <laughs> that I didn't record of rising up in God, beholding your God. You know, he, he makes everything low. He brings everything low. And even as I say that, this is what I see in prophetic vision. This is what I see. I see the darkness is under our feet, that the people that would rise up against us are under our feet, that it is time to walk in glorious strength of the Most High God. Hallelujah. That he is giving us the church at, in in this hour, hallelujah, that um, as we link arms, whew, as we continue on, as we shiki otorabashande, there's no other way. Honestly, there is absolutely no, no, uh, there's no other way. You know, we can't let the darkness overtake us. We can't let the enemy oppress us. We can't let um, shiki otorabashande. It's not a time. It is not a time to sit down and shut up. And it never was. It was never a time to sit down. It's time to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. It's, it's always time to love. 
it's always time to love. Um, it's always time to receive God's favor, you know. Um, and he did give me a vision while I was um, trying to record that last. He gave me the vision that, um, whoa, oh, wow, hallelujah, that's glorious. Hallelujah, glory. Oh, wow. Um, the, 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 the harvest really is plentiful, you know, and, um, and the fields are white, and it is really time to harvest. Let me just share something with you real quick. He sent me, I think it was in April. I'm pretty sure it was in April. He sent me to Walmart and I needed cash. I was buying a prophetic painting and, you know, I heard I was supposed to go to the bank and then all of a sudden he spoke Walmart. And of course I'm trying to put two to two together like we do in our own understanding. And I'm thinking, oh, he wants me to get money out of um, of, of Walmart. So I'll just buy some ice cream. I love ice cream. So I'll just buy some ice cream. Well, wouldn't you know that the lines were uh, 15 people deep and everybody's just afraid and they have masks on and they're weary and they're heavy laden and you know, and so I'm standing there and I'm like, Lord, how, how can I get to my friend's house and give her this hundred dollars in time before she leaves to give it to the other person who I'm buying the painting from? Um, and uh, well, it turned out not to be, I'm trying to make this short, turned out not to be God's plan at all. As I'm standing there, looking at all these people, I hear in the spirit, attention, attention. And uh, and, um, and I'm like, Lord, do you want me to speak? Attention, attention. Well, you know, it's never, sometimes God calls you to hard things. Sometimes it's not so easy to obey God. Sometimes it calls you to step into a new place that you don't think you're quite ready for. But then, of course, he wouldn't require it of us if we weren't. Okay. So, you know, I have this conversation with God, you know, we're dialoguing and that's what communion is. We're dialoguing, um, God and I, you know, my father in heaven and me. And, um, I realized, oh my gosh, you know, he has called me to this moment. And I, so with the ice cream melting in my hand, the whole half gallon or whatever it is, um, you know, I, I begin to just press into him. I begin to press into him. And she killed the robot. And I said, God, if you're calling me th to do this, I need all of you. I need all of you. I need you to anoint me. Um, and so, you know, I stood there in front of all these people holding the ice cream. And I just began to press into God. And I, you know, just began to yearn more for him to fill me and to anoint me for this moment. And then he did. He did. He kept filling me and he kept anointing me. And then when I knew I was good and ready, I said, um, attention, just like what I heard. Attention attention and then the rest flowed and that's how the prophetic works you know you say what you hear and the rest flows so all he gave me initially was attention attention i stepped into it i spoke attention attention and sure enough the rest flowed and this is what he said if you are sick and if you are afraid it's time to believe in the lord and he had me repeat it if you are sick and if you are afraid, it's time to turn to the Lord. He is the only one that heals. He's the only one that saves. It is time to turn to the Lord. And you know, three people praise God in line go, amen. You know, somebody says, I know that's right. Hallelujah. And all those people were ministered to. Praise God. Now, you know what? There's nothing else I needed to do. I just needed to obey God. That's all. If he had told me to go to a person and begin praying with them, of course I would have done that, you know, because he would have made the way. He would have opened the door to their hearts, which he did in Ocean City uh, later. He did that in Ocean City later when I was down there around May, May uh, 26th through the 30th. He sent us out on the boardwalk. He showed us that he had opened the door to people's hearts. And, you know, we went and um, we began to, you know, minister and uh, so many people were touched by God. It is time. It is time. It is time, brothers and sisters. I, um, you know, I know the Lord is saying to, to rise up. To rise up and behold your God. Okay? Love you so much. God bless you. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Overcome. Prevail. God bless you.